I have like a thing about sleeping. I don't sleep that much. And I've come to this thing about like not sleeping much as being a great virtue after years of kind of battling it as being a terrible detriment or something. And now I really like sort of sitting up. You know, but for years I've been sitting up, and I think that like my creativity is greatly motivated by this this kind of insomnia. I lie awake, I think thoughts, I walk aimlessly, I walk during the day, and I follow people who I think look interesting. As a matter of fact, I think a lot of my design ideas come from mistakes and tricks of the eye because I feel like, you know, there are so many images out there, so many clothes out there, and the only ones that look interesting to me are the ones that look slightly mistaken, of course, or, or very, very surprising. And often, I'm driving in a taxi and I see a hole in a shirt or something that looks very interesting or pretty or functional in some way that I'd never seen happen before. I don't know where inspiration comes from. I, it does not come uh, for me, from research. I, I, I don't get necessarily inspired by research. Actually, I do my own kind of research, you know? If I'm commissioned to do the costumes for an 18th century opera, or something like that, I will do a lot of research, because it's interesting, not because it's what I'm supposed to do. I'm very, very, very inspired by movies. The color of movies and the way light makes the colors, light from the projection, makes the colors look so impossible. I sort of, again, sit up at night and I watch movies and I watch women in movies a lot. And, and I think about, you know, their roles and about how you have to, like, watch what your daughters look at because I look at the way women are portrayed all the time, whether they're kind of glorified in this way or whether they're kind of, you know, um, ironically glorified, um, or whether they're, you know, sort of denigrated or ironically denigrated. I go back to color all the time. Color is something that motivates me a lot. Um, it's rarely color that I find in nature, although, you know, juxtaposed next to artificial color, natural color is so beautiful. So that's, that's what I do. I study color a lot. For the most part, I think, um, like, how can I ever make anything that is as beautiful as that image of Natalie Wood? And so that's what makes me lie awake at night, I guess, you know? I don't know. I don't know how to put this. I feel as though as little comfort as possible is good, is a good thing, you know? In my case, because if I just do one thing all the time, I, I, I get very, very bored. I don't say that I do everything well. I just say that I do a lot of things, that's all. And I kind of try not to look back, you know? Except I guess that's what staying up every night is about, like looking back and thinking, what a fool you made of yourself, you know? But I guess that's okay, right? Because if you do many things, you get to feel lousy about everything and not just one, you know, you don't, you don't master feeling lousy about one thing. Yeah, exactly. Um, I went to performing arts high school where I was an actor and many of my friends were ballet dancers. Again, like, I, I don't know where inspiration comes from. I, I started making puppets when I was a kid. Maybe that's where the whole inspiration thing started from, puppets, right? There I was in high school meeting dancers and acting and somehow from there I got interested in design. I went to Parsons School of Design and then I began my career as a designer. I don't really think of myself as a designer, and I don't really think of myself necessarily as a fashion designer. And frankly, I don't really know what to call myself. I think of myself as, um, uh, I don't know what I think of myself as, so <laughs> that's just that. But I must say, this whole thing about being slightly bored all the time, that is what, I think that is a very important thing for a fashion designer. You always have to be like slightly bored with everything. And if you're not, you have to pretend to be slightly bored with everything. <laughs> Actually, I, 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 I read this great quote the other day, which, which was, style makes you feel great because it takes your mind off the fact that you're going to die. And then I realized that, that that was on my website, and then it said, like, you know, the quote was attributed to me, and I thought, oh, I said something, you know, in an interview. I forgot that I said that, you know, but it's really true. Well, that's it.